friends, welcome back to my channel, Plan to be Princess. My name is Ashley. Today we are going to be checking out this light behind me. This is a sponsored video by Grow Star. They sent me this light to try out, test it out, see how I like it. So I am super excited. As you can see, it is a very small and compact light. It is one of those gooseneck lights that can kind of just transform and twist and turn every which way, which is great for small and tight spaces. So we're gonna jump right into this video, check this light out. I will show you how it works, show you how to operate it, and we'll see how it works for the plants. So here we have the light. It's packed up nicely in this little box. This is how it comes straight out of the packaging. As you see here, the head of the light is wrapped in some bubble wrap to keep it secure, as well as a film over the light screen. It comes with the controller and of course the power source. And then in the little white box, we have the plant stand. Now at first glance, I am going to show you how this stand isn't as sturdy as I will later find out that it actually is. So you just kind of twist it in to get the plant stand going and attached to the light. And again, at first glance, if you don't have the head of the light lined with one of the legs, it does tip over a bit. But as you'll see in a moment here, I have a diagram pull up on the screen. You can flatten the legs out so they are completely flat to give the stand a little more balance, as well as extend the legs, as you see in the third picture, to give it a little more height as well as a little more grounding. All right, so as you just saw, we checked this light out. We unboxed it. It comes with the light. It comes with the stand. And then to connect it, the only thing that I didn't find too appealing was the fact that it didn't come with the power source. Um, a bonus though is it is the USB that is very accessible. Most of us already have uh, plugs like this in our home. Our phone chargers take them. Uh, also though, another con is that a lot of us don't have extras of these laying around. Now I'm always buying chargers off of Amazon so I do have plenty of these so in my case it doesn't matter whether it came with it or not, but I know definitely um, a lot of people would kind of not like that it didn't come with one. Also, this light is very inexpensive. So honestly, for the price you are paying for the light, we can't expect too much, okay? So I'm sure this is a great light. I have found out over the years of reviewing lights that you don't need to buy an expensive light for it to be a good light. So when I'm saying that, you know, you get what you pay for, I don't by any means mean that this is not a good light because it wasn't a lot of money. I am just simply saying that, you know, you're only paying $10 for this light. So to spend a couple extra dollars on the power source is not a big deal and could potentially still be worth buying the light, although you have to buy the power source separately. We will figure that out in a minute because I'll show you how this works and you can decide if you would like to try this light out. So getting back to it, you just simply plug this in. It's just the USB. We'll get it powered up, turned on, and then I will show you the specifications to this light. So we got the light plugged into our outlet and this is the controller that kind of operates the light. You have the power button at the bottom. You have the timer, which has three timer functions, which is three hours and nine hours and 12 hour cycles. That means that if you press the three hour button, it will turn on for three hours. It will turn off for 21 hours. Same thing for the nine hours. It will turn on for nine hours. It will turn off for 15 hours, 12 hour cycle. It will be on for 12 hours, off for 12 hours. I think that's really neat that, you know, it has that function. Above it, we have the light switcher, which switches. So let's see, I turn it on. It switches the spectrum, I believe of light so as you saw it was the white light the warm white light as well as the red and the blue once i click that button you see it's only the blue and the red lights and then if i click it again it's going straight to the warm white lighting if i press it a third time it takes you back to that first setting where it has all three spectrums the warm white the red and the blue i honestly would recommend using all three lightings um, when using a light like this because most of the plants we are growing as plant hobbyists are in the vegetative stage or the flowering stage and they will do best with this type of lighting. So now that we got that figured out, this light does have 10 different dimming functions. So that is the button above it, which is this plus or minus. You press them and as you can see, the light is dimming. I hope you can see that on the camera as well as you can see it in person. But if you look really closely, you can tell. I'll do it quickly so you can kind of see it as it's going, but you see how 
the light is dimming and brightening. So there's 10 different settings for that. Again, on a light like this, since it is not a very uh, high wattage or powerful light, I would probably leave it at the max brightness that it could be at. Again, if you were going right up on a plant though, you could lower it a little bit. Um, but honestly, it is just, you know, one light strip. It's not going to be too powerful. It's not going to be powerful enough to scorch your leaves, hurt your plants. So I'm going to leave it just like this. Now I'm placing it where I'm placing it and I'm going to place it straight up like this because I want to be able to get some light to these plants here. As you can see, my different bakia is kind of growing that way. I do have a light up there. And plants grow towards the light. They are stretching towards the light. This also means that they are not getting enough light. They are not close enough to the light and that's why they are reaching for it. So maybe I want to, you know, take that as a sign that I need to provide this plant with a little more light. So not only will having the light on this side of the plant help straighten it out because it will get more light and it will tend to grow more straight, but it will provide it with enough light that it won't be reaching as much for the light over there. Again, I also have my bird of paradise, bird of, Parad ugh, bird of paradise up above me. So that one is also, I'll just show you really quick. It's also kind of going, it, it was on that side. I brought it over here for a purpose of this video, but it was also growing towards the light, which it's growing this way because it was on that side of the light, but having it still facing where it's growing this way with the light on this side of it, and also that big light on this side of it, it will also help straighten it out a bit. All in all, I really do think this light is definitely worth the money. It is a very nice light. It's bright. It has a lot of functions, a lot of operations that it is capable of for the cost of this light. I definitely think it is a good light that is going to, you know, do what I want, do what I'm trying to achieve here for these plants, which is kind of get them to grow a little straighter and provide them with a little extra light. Now, I definitely don't think I would use this light as a main source of light, but it is great. It is a great light for an additional source to an area where you just need a little more light. Thank you guys again for joining me in another video. I hope you enjoyed checking out this light today and keep it in mind if you need an alternative or an additional light for your plants. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye.